guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to use another Clarity Cosmetics palette that I purchased um, if you go quite a few videos back I show you that I did a makeup haul and I purchased quite a few things from Clarity Cosmetics because they were running like a really big sale so I was like you know what I want to get these I enjoy their eyeshadows I've just had trouble in the past with a lot of the eyeshadows um, like the palette showing up and things being broken and making an absolute mess and it's just hasn't been the best from that aspect but they try to make good on you know what goes wrong so I do appreciate that but anyway I had quite a few palettes that I need to get through and I just went on their website because a lot of the palettes that I have, they're getting rid of them. So they're trying to redo their palettes, whatever. They just came out with some new stuff. It looks really pretty. I just haven't decided whether I want to get it or not um, based on some of these other palettes. But anyway, this palette is one that I purchased a while back and I just went on their website and it's actually on sale for $18. So I was like, oh, well, how convenient is that? That I'm showing you this palette and if you decide that you like it you can still go on their website and get it for $18 so today I'm gonna use the bloom palette it's so pretty like ah not when you stick your finger in it jeez Louise anyway um it's super pretty like I just love the colors I love like these plummy mauvey colors i got my greens i got my blues you know and then like the purplish pinkish shimmers there and then this teal color here so normally i would use quite a few of these colors but i'm getting ready to go out like my family we're all going out to dinner so i'm like mm, maybe just to not attract more attention because we're <laughs> there's a lot of us so when five of us go out, you know, somebody's usually loud or doing something or whatever. And I'm like, let's not bring more attention to, <laughs> to ourselves by walking in with like two, like fully colored, two different colored eyes. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'm just, I'm not feeling that. Like, I'm not, I'm not up for that tonight to be like, mm, what are you looking at? You know what I mean? Type of thing. But sometimes I am. I'm like, why are you staring? You know, whatever. But... <laughs> not doing that tonight we're going out we're gonna have a nice dinner so i'm gonna keep it to just one one look so anyway if you want to see what i end up doing with this palette <laughs> then just keep watching i feel like i really want to use this color here this color is like screaming at me and i'm like mm, i hear you so i know i'm gonna do something with that color um i was kind of thinking i wanted to go in with don't be so posy but I feel like I want to go in with the lighter shade. And that's the thing with some of Clarity's prior palettes is I feel like they would end up having similar colors. Um, just pollen your leg. So I'm going to pick that up on this Beauty Bay 20. Oh, it does say 202. I was like, that's not what that says. It does say 202. And you do get a mirror inside. It's actually a pretty cute mirror. So I'm going to go ahead and use this mirror. got quite a bit of pigment and I went in very light-handed and I'm using quite a fluffy brush I don't feel like it's as dense as I would typically like because it's not you see how it's got like so much movement to it when I'm trying to do this instead of the bristles going the brush is kind of doing this so that's why I tend to like a fluffier, denser brush, if that makes sense. So anyhow, this is a very nice color, but I feel like I need to get it to blend out a little bit more. So that's why I love this brush. It's dense, but yet it's fluffy enough. And I think I had some residual color on there. Oh Lord. Okay, hold on. Let me do... Ah, I didn't even realize that like the seam of the palette is like coming up I don't know it doesn't affect the shadows but it's pointing it out because I didn't realize so I feel like it's a color with like quite a bit of pigment 
I am just going to bring this down just a little bit with whatever residual color may be on this brush. Not a lot because I haven't quite decided what I want to do on that lower part of the eye yet. But this color has quite a bit of pigment. I was able to build it up in the crease like to the depth of color that I wanted. And I was able to blend it out with the other brush nicely. So I really like that. I really do. Okay, so I think... I really want to see how this color um, applies. So I'm going to pick up this Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to go into Thistle While You Work. It's like this, it looks like it's going to be this deep teal color. Yeah, and I switched the eye. So I'm just going to go onto here. Oh, that is so pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited about that. So I think I'm going to do that out here. I don't know. Like I have a thing for like purple, teal, like pink. Like that color combo. So anyway. I really like this. I like the depth of color. I'm going to bring it in a bit. I'm kind of making like like a slice of pizza <laughs> on the outer part of my eye like the shape of it like just coming in see here's here's the triangle part of the pizza and then here's the rounded outer edge of the crust <laughs> uh i really like that i'm gonna let that sit there for a minute i'm gonna do the other eye i feel like the other side went on so effortlessly but can you tell i'm hungry and you start looking at your eyeshadow like, oh, that looks like food. <laughs> it might be hungry. Oh, uh, goodness. I'm going to go in with that prior Beauty Bay brush and just soften the edge just ever so slightly. So it's kind of a toss up. I want to go in with one of these two colors. When I look at this, um irresistible kind of like an iris irresistible when it shifts it has like a gold to it but it looks pink whereas that top color rose over bros that looks more just like a rose like it doesn't have a whole lot of shift but it has like little gold um flecks in it so i don't know if i want to do one of those and then put this what does that say once i floral on the inner corner I think I might do that I kind of want to see what this rose over bros looks like so I'm gonna pick that up on this AOA studio e122 brush it's a flat shadow brush and I'm actually gonna put this hmm interesting i'm not getting a whole lot of payoff so let me see it's super creamy that's what it looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and use my finger oh no i have fallout all down here Ooh. i don't know what that would be from like i don't recall like touching anything in here but I don't know if that's where I was just trying to put it over with the brush. Like brushing over that. Don't. <laughs> brushing over like patting over that color. That green color. Um, sheet. With the color in here like patting over top of it. Caused fallout underneath the eye. So I'm just going to keep pressing this rose color over top. And I think I'm going to pick some up with the brush and I'm going to get it wet with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Just get that wet. I 
I don't necessarily feel like I like how it's applying over that matte color. Hmm. Not a fan. So I think what I'm going to do is turn this brush around and I'm going to go in to the color down here and see if I can pick a little bit up and kind of um, fill in the gap right here where those two colors meet up just to get a nice blend. Because I don't really like how that one color is sitting over top. That's better. But I don't like all the fallout, obviously. Especially since I'm going somewhere, so I should have done um, my makeup last. But I think I was thinking initially that I was like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do the Blend Bunny Forget Me Not palette. And I was like, no. I picked this one up and I just decided that I wanted to do this palette. That's why I did my makeup first because I thought I was going to do like a, a face video. But anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go back in with a little bit of this color on the outer corner and just like deepen it a smidge like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. And I think in all honesty, I'm going to do it the same way, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick, pick that color up on my finger and just get the basis of that down and then fill in in between with that other color okay so i went ahead and did the same on both sides this did go a little easier knowing like how i was gonna apply it and putting that purple color in and it seemed to go over nicely now in all fairness i don't typically do like my um outer corner first before i do the center because i'm usually so excited about the shimmers i go with the shimmers and then I do the outer corner but should it really make that big of a difference mm, it shouldn't it shouldn't but sometimes it does so i can't really say like hey would it have gone better if i would have put that color down and then just did my outer corner how i normally do and then blend it back over it it might have applied better so i can't wholeheartedly be like hey you know that colors whatever it didn't they didn't play well together um i'm gonna go in with once i floral this color here looks like a really light almost like um like a opal color but it has like a bluish bl bluish a blue shift to it so let's see what that looks like and i'm gonna apply that on this inner corner Ooh, that's gonna be pretty <laughs> it here in the inner corner I think it's just gonna take a little bit to build it up but I think I want to go ahead and get it wet I don't typically like to do um, inner lid like inner corner eyeshadow with my finger because I do not have tiny fingers so I'm just going to skip that application here because typically any other place like on the eye I'd be like, oh yeah, let's go in with my finger. I'm just going to give it some time. That looks so pretty. I do like the color combo. I'm going to go ahead and bring that color down into the inner corner. So I think what I'm going to end up doing want to use the green or do I want to use the blue I don't know if I I feel like I want to go in with this because it's really going to tie in this color to bring the whole look together so I think I'm going to go in with a blend a bunny a b2 brush it's nice and small it's dense so I feel like I could be a little well a lot more precise with it and then I'm going to go ahead and bring that down onto this lower lash line and out to the outer corner but I'm really able to like really focus in this area and really keep that color concentrated to right under that lower lash line because this brush is small enough I'm gonna go in with that first brush I used like the very well not the very first but like the second brush that I used to blend everything out up here 
and I'm just gonna do that <laughs> so I can really get under there and blend out that edge I feel like there's a area right there where the color's not on and then I'm I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color I used on the inner corner and bring it in just a smidge further into that blue just to get a nice blend there on that lower that lower lid like under eye area so I'm gonna bring it in nice and blended and then I think I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna hop off I'm gonna finish up and I'll be right so back. here is the finished look I'll go ahead and close my eyes and then I'll go ahead and show you what else I used I went ahead and put on these lashes um, I really like them. I like the size of them, but I'm not a fan. Like, I, I get the concept of them, but, like, they were super stuck to... It says this tray is 100% biodegradable and recyclable. Again, I like that, but, like, whatever they use to stick the lashes to this, like, that adhesive, it actually ripped... Like, it actually ripped the container off, so then I had to very carefully try to peel the like white from the container off the lash and hope I didn't ruin the lashes by like pulling them through the band does that make sense um but I really like them so I went ahead and put them on they're nice and small like short but I feel like they add that dimension and like fill in where my natural lashes are lacking <laughs> so with that looking like super boisterous because I didn't want to take away from the look because I really like the look um I went ahead and used my Urban Decay Perversion Liner just to do a wing liner. And then I used my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Bisque just to open up the under eye, but not being like too stark to be like, whoa, you know, um, just to open it up a bit because it is a dark look. And then I went ahead and did my lips with, surprise, surprise, the Dominique um, Creamy Fill Define Lip Liner in Crush. I think it just goes with the tone of my lips without being like too ridiculous. But instead of opting for a lighter um, like lipstick, like now looking at it on like camera, I'm kind of like, mm, maybe I should have, maybe I should have gone with a lighter nude. But I ended up seeing this and I was like, ooh, you know, so I think my attention just, <laughs> just got taken away from me really quickly and I was like oh that's pretty and then I put it on and I was like what are you doing like that is not why you went over there to look at those things so I just I got ahead of myself I did so let me go ahead and zoom out and we'll talk about it so there's a look from afar I do like it um again like I said I think I just got over there and I was like oh shiny and then I put it on and I'm like that's not what you went over there to do like I feel like I want my lips to be like a lighter um more like paler nude color to kind of not be like so much right there I don't know just it I don't know I, I know what I'm thinking in my head I just don't think it's coming out of my mouth like that I just wanted a paler nude color there so anyway um as far as the look I honestly I opened this up and I was like this is what I want to do and I think I was able to accomplish that with this palette I think it turned out really nice um everything applied really well I did get a lot of fallout which again I wasn't even expecting that especially when I went to apply this color over this color this color ended up transferring down to like my lower lash which again that's not typical for me to do my outer corner first so it's just like a hey if you are going to get this palette or you do have this palette hey just be aware of that I don't think it like makes or breaks like whether I would purchase this palette or not you know what I mean so I really love all the colors this is like this is my jam <laughs> This is like this is my color combo like I really enjoy the blues I'm really enjoying these purples like that's really what I wanted to accomplish today like opening this palette and being like yeah that's what I want to go for that is what happened here and I really like it um I thought it was a little weird that this color wouldn't go over this color very well so then I ended up being able to use this color to kind of blend 
well not to kind of but like to blend in between the two so there is that just you know to make a note of that I thought that was odd but again I don't know if it's like the application of how I put it on like if I would have put this on first and then done my outer corner would it have come out differently I don't know either way I don't mind that I had to use that color in between the two because I was kind of in between debating like which color I wanted to use anyway so it's not that serious for me but it's just again just a little note to tell you guys if you're getting this palette you know might want to think about how you're applying them I don't know play around with it it's just something to be aware of you know what I mean just like a hey just a little side note <laughs> a little cliff note um if you will but anyway I really like it and like I said I went on their website and it shows that it is on sale for $18 right now so I don't know what shipping is I don't know what other palettes are on there but I know they are getting rid of some of their older stuff and they're just like hey we're not bringing it back like we have this other stuff we have other plans so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I'm really hungry I know everybody's probably waiting on me I know we need to feed the dogs before we go so I'm gonna wrap it up so I appreciate all of you thank you guys um all for watching thank you for talking with me I love chatting with you all um thank you to all my new subscribers welcome to my little youtube channel I'm glad you're here I hope you continue to come um thank you to everybody who's been here with me throughout all of this um i hope each and every one of you are well and you're happy and things are going well for you so anyway i hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this bye